Hello Commanders! Welcome to the Command Table. I am Mathramar, and I'll be taking you through battles 351 through 355 of the journey. We are presently in the Divine Sanctuary, Map 3. If you like what you see here, please do like, subscribe, and if you want notifications when I drop new videos, be sure to hit that notification bell. Also, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those below. All right, let's jump right into battle 351. All right, there's a mind corruptor, a whole bunch of mind shrooms, a whole bunch of crows in their bat skin. We got a druid and two giant toads. So um, we're gonna use our assassins to take out the mind corruptor down here as well as the druid. This other mind corruptor will try to get whenever we can, but we're just gonna focus on this one. This one's just got too many mind shrooms around it, so we don't want to risk it. We're going to stack a whole bunch of bodies. You'll notice that I've just put in whatever level uh, plague bearers that I have, and then the couple of shield bearers. And that's going to uh, act as decoys for all the crows to hit those, while the crystal spires just nuke everything. Uh, I like to have two crystal spires, just in case one of them does get stunned by the crows, just so the other one can keep going. This uh, freeze trap will counter that mind corruptor. So even though I won't be able to get after it with my assassins immediately, the toads will trip that and freeze the mind corruptor until I can resolve it. So that's the strategy behind this one. Nothing terribly complicated. Let's go ahead and let it run. You'll notice that this second toad doesn't get frozen even though it's within range. It's still in the air when things go down. I luck out with one assassin that's able to take out that mind corruptor, but even if I didn't, I'd have tons of plague bearers left to be able to take it down. And there it goes. 351. Alright, let's move on to 352. Okay, for this one, there are a bunch of hammer throwers surrounding a death knight. Then we've got our battle wagon pirate ship, and a whole bunch of plague bearers with a monster hunter tucked in there. So my thought for this one, I'm gonna do the same trick that we always do. The battle wagon's gonna hit those mine shrooms, turn right back around and mow down a bunch of hammer throwers on the way to the back line where it'll pop and then all those units are mine. They'll come from behind and flank whatever's still left up here. I've got the assassins that are gonna take out that monster hunter and just eliminate it from the equation. Because if that monster hunter starts wailing away on my warhounds, the battle drummer's not going to be able to do a whole heck of a lot to stop it. So we're just going to resolve him, get him out of the way. So that takes care of the two primary threats. The third primary threat is that death knight. And we're just going to zip right through and kill that death knight because half of these units are going to be focused on the battle wagon. So that's going to allow my mini swarm to just kind of mow right through. Once we get to the Plague Bearers, it's really simple just because I've got the Paladin Aura already. So it should be just easy mode once we take care of the top. So there went the Battle Wagon. There goes the Monster Hunter. We're about to take out the Death Knight. Poof, there he goes. And now, even if I did lose a few Warhounds along the way, I now have a whole bunch of Shield Bearers and Archers backing me up. Easy peasy. Okay, let's move on to 353. Okay. We have a whole bunch of assassins and a bomb bot with a couple of mine shrooms and freezing traps. So since all of the units that I'm concerned about are going to pop over to this other side, I'm going to put my thorn guards on the back. I'm going to back them up with a paladin and a drummer, and then I'm going to add in some ranged DPS just for fun. The, uh, everything here is going to focus on that bomb bot initially, and then by the time the bomb bot's resolved, all these assassins are going to be converging on the thorn guards and revealing themselves. The beauty of the phoenix, or if you want to use an ember fiend, is that the moment one of the assassins reveals themselves, you're going to see a big gust of flame come through, and it's going to hit all the other assassins that are stealthed, and it's going to reveal them as well. So that's going to be very handy. But yeah, just uh, let them come to me, and uh, we'll just control our position on the map and solve all our problems with Thorn Guards. Okay, whoosh, 
You got half the assassins in that first gust, the other half in the second. Game over. Very, very easy. All right, 354. Okay, Scourge of Bones. So we've got a set of assassins, two risen warriors. We've got two groups of warhounds, thorn guards, a death knight, two groups of wraiths, and two groups of plague bearers, and a group of shield bearers. So quite the eclectic mix. So um, what I wanted to do is, you know, I want to get this death knight out of the way. But if you dedicate assassins to it, there's a good likelihood those assassins are going to die on the thorn guards, or if they get revealed, they'll get eaten alive by the warhounds. So I decided instead of spending the two points on the assassins, I'm just going to spend the two points on these bombs. The first bomb bot's going to take out that front line, uh, including some of the dogs, because the dogs run faster. And then the second bomb bot is going to have a clear path to run back to right here, where it's going to run into not only the thorn guards, but the death knight that's going to be running faster is going to be right behind. Also it's going to clip some of these plague bearers so really good return on the two bomb investment we're going to get a lot of stuff. The uh, everything else my little mini swarm down here is just meant to mow through whatever's left. I'm completely disregarding everything that pops in the back because by the time these assassins run halfway across the battlefield they'll reveal themselves and they'll be very easy to mow down. Same with the Risen Warriors, they're going to be the only things left, and they're going to pop way the heck over here, it's going to take them forever to walk across, and by then I'm going to have cleared through everything else. The Crows are excellent for stunning stuff, I just threw them in there for an extra point, uh, probably switch those out for any other kind of melee unit that you want. But uh, poof, there went everything, Assassins are revealed, they took out one Dire Wolf, so not a bad trade. And now it's just a matter of cleaning up. Very smooth. All right, let's move on to 355, and then we'll call it for this video. Okay, we got more pirates with another battle wagon and another monster hunter. It's basically the exact same thing, just different formation, slightly. So we just move our shrooms. That's going to send that back there. Battle wagon's going to be mine and going to attack everything from behind. Uh, my little mini swarm's just going to push through the bottom here. I'm not concerned about the monster hunter so much. We'll just uh, see how it goes. This bomb bot is just going to run right in there and uh, wreak havoc on the death knight and a few other things, if I recall correctly. Let's go ahead and let it run. All right, yeah, Death Knight kind of runs in and then pop. Gets caught right in the middle of that blast. A um, few Warhounds go down because they have very low health and that Monster Hunter does 300% damage to nature units. So, I mean, might switch those out for something else. It's not going to be the end of the world. All right, thank you for watching. Appreciate you supporting the channel. Please do, again, like and subscribe. And check out the commandtable.com where we have tutorials, raid strats, and in the near future we'll be adding merchandise and a comic strip. Thanks for watching, we'll have more for you soon.